This took a step at settling the argument with a meta-analysis, a study of studies on whether people can really perceive better than CD quality sound. He analyzed data from 18 studies, including more than 400 participants and nearly 13,000 listening tests. Overall, listeners picked out the better than CD quality track 52.3% of the time. Statistically significant, if not all that impressive. There are three main interpretations of the English Revolution. The longest lasting interpretation was that the revolution was the almost inevitable outcome of an age-old struggle between Parliament and Crown. The second sees it as a class struggle and a lead-up to the French and other revolutions. Finally, the third interpretation sees the other two as too fixed, not allowing for unpredictability and that the outcome could have gone either way. The tsunamis could provide crucial information about the habitability of ancient Mars. The first one occurred when the planet must have been relatively warm and amenable for life because it carved out backwash channels as it returned to the sea. By contrast, the planet had become much cooler by the time the second tsunami hit the waters apparently flash frozen after flowing the surface.
Usually, age is determined by physical characteristics such as teeth or bones. Great if you have a body. Researchers have tried successfully to use blood. But in this study, the scientists used immune cells called T cells recognize invaders through receptors that match molecules on bacteria, viruses, and even tumors. The cellular activity that produces these receptors also produces a type of circular DNA molecule as a byproduct. For the purposes of argument, culture is divided into material and non-material and the speaker's aim is to show how they both affect each other. Material developments in tools and technology can affect non-material culture, our customs and beliefs, and the other way around. Genetics is used as an example as it has changed the way we think about life, but also our beliefs have affected its rate of development. The second group that is particularly vulnerable are night shift workers and the third group that is particularly vulnerable are people with sleep disorders, particularly sleep apnea. One out of three men and one out of six women have sleep apnea and yet 85% are undiagnosed and untreated and it more than doubles the risks of crashes.
It's not that human activities didn't impact wildlife at all, of course. Heavily hunted species like white trailed deer, gray squirrels, and raccoons were photographed somewhat less often in hunted areas. Coyotes showed up more often in hunted areas. While most species didn't avoid hiking trails, the predators actually preferred them. Dolphins, whales, and porpoises are social animals, but some species are more sociable than others. This depends on the environment because a species adopts the lifestyle more suitable for this. Among dolphins, farming makes it easier for them to find food, reproduce, and gain knowledge. They are safer too because dolphins can communicate danger when there are threats around. Avalanche, rapidly descending large mass of snow, ice, soil, rock, or mixtures of these materials sliding or falling in response to the force of gravity. Avalanches, which are natural forms of erosion and often seasonal, are usually classified by their content such as a debris or a snow avalanche.
Studies funded by the soft drink industry are more likely to mask links to obesity and type 2 diabetes, according to a new report. He added that biases in industry-funded studies were not usually due to poor methodology, but due to inherent problems in their design, including poor choice of comparators and problems with the way data is analyzed and reported. The elaborate and refined Japanese tea ceremony is meant to demonstrate respect through grace and good etiquette as demonstrated here by Gunshot Sen, 15th Grandmaster of the Eurozenk Tea School. This finding is understandable in certain cases in spite of its high significance. That is because energy efficiency of building operation just represents a single aspect of sustainability. By the same token, an energy efficient building with poor building material choices may not be considered sustainable.
The student's reading in his own subject slows down and his comprehension becomes less secure. He expresses himself slowly and often fails to convey his ideas exactly. He is disappointed to find that under pressure he makes a lot of unnecessary mistakes in areas where he knows the correct language forms. His social relations are difficult as he cannot find the right phrase quickly enough to keep a conversation going, so his language often betrays him into dullness, coldness, or worst of all, rudeness. Instead of the students being in control of the language, the language seems now to be in control of the students. In the past, naming English as a separate subject seemed relatively easy. The textbook selected and graded items of language which were put into content and then practiced intensively. New items were carefully controlled so that the student could cope quite easily. Now that English is used as a medium of instruction, however, all this has changed.